Pisces, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for you. Uh, it is uh, Halloween and uh, celebration coming up. And uh, this reading is for so the beginning of November. So uh, yeah, let's get to it, Pisces. Uh, check out other signs in your chart as well. I have posted all 12 signs. I have included some shorts as well. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Suit yourself. Thank you for your amazing comments. I really appreciate your time and your support. It means the world to me. I am using the Babylonian Tarot deck and uh, it is by Roxana Paul. I will eventually list um, all the decks that I'm using in uh, the description box. I have pre-shuffled the cards and I'm nearly done here, Pisces. So uh, let's just get to your reading, shall we? And See what is in store for you at this time, uh, especially in the matters of love. All right, we'll start here. Hmm. There is a person around you could be have Earth in their chart. This is someone that is very strategic in their pursuits towards you um there is two steps forward one step back but you have already clocked onto this person intuitively perhaps you have kind of also staring away from this person because you might know that well even if they are slow when they eventually come forward what is involved with this person is there other third parties obstacles there is something that you are detecting with your very sharp intuitive abilities Pisces and um, now your person could have Libra in their chart um, maybe Aries also Pisces is coming up but um, this person they do want to come in um, with a balanced they want to come in um, towards you and make things just um, this person they could be going through a divorce they could know as well if this is someone you know already pisces they know they have to make something right with you there's been a cause and effect perhaps this person have received their karma their intentions when these obstacles are removed that could be people that could be distance it could be a few factors but their intentions is to tell you something they want to tell you how they feel or they want to show you how they feel definitely there is a romantic gesture communication that this person have on their mind but meanwhile Pisces you could be with the eight of cups your intention is to you are sort of, um, it's like you are neither here nor there. You don't really want to think about your emotions. You're trying to just, yeah, you don't want to address your emotions about anyone right at this minute. Um, maybe this person know about that. They know they have to make a stand. They have to fight for you. Pisces, in your current environment, you come up as the empress. So you also have the high priestess here. You are someone that is um, seductive, someone that can quite fast make, you know, when you put the wheels in motion, you, you are someone that can um, have success. That's what I was looking for. Um, you are someone with ideas. You should follow your intuitive ideas and act up on them. Now, how people see you is someone that is powerful, someone that know what they want and someone that can you know, bear fruit of their labor. You are someone that look after yourself. You look always well-groomed. You do not uh, let yourself fade away. <laughs> And um, yeah, you have, you know, this aura around you of um, it's glowing um, you put yourself on a pedestal and you expect others to do the same. But in your emotions, you, there is something here that is a block, there is a block and the devil shows up. There could be someone that is 
obsessing about you that is stuck in your energy that could be making you feel a certain way when you do not have to feel a certain way uh, maybe you can't really put a finger on what it is maybe someone isn't really around you but i see there is an energy here that could be kind of penetrating through your mind uh, and dreams here this is someone that is almost like a passive aggressive they are on the outside they and um, they they try to sort of send signals of this possessive ownership type of energy and i think that it's like they are clouding your judgment they are clouding your emotions um now So, because there could be competition for you and there could be an energy around you that they can sense that you are moving away from them. And because they know you're moving away from them, it's almost like they have the ability to send you this energy of this, okay, I, I, I don't want Pisces to leave or there's some kind of, I will look, look into it. It's almost like a very obsessive energy they give off even if they don't necessarily there are around you um so because the cards here are very nice but there is this devil here there is someone here that see with the obstacles it's someone that believe that they are entitled to you and to be in your energy that you should accept um, their breadcrumbs basically but you will not accept their breadcrumbs and you have decided that out of principle out of respect for yourself out of just what you have observed and experienced with this person they have to leave your life and you might also have someone new like you might if, if this person is not um, a real deal yet you have at least visualized who you want in your life should you embark a new journey with someone, right? And this is the King of Cups. This is someone that... It's someone that is coming towards you and they are going to share their emotions with you as a, a mature person, as someone that you would, you would expect for someone to act this way when they are in love. This person here, they want to get together. They want... Uh, happiness with you they want um, again here I see you know the weakness with this person that they, they could sort of you know their intention is to show love but sometimes the weakness can be they they show their passion instead and perhaps um, so 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 they don't show show exactly what they planned when they come when they when they get to you basically <laughs> that's what i'm trying to spit out but their action is that you know the four of wands it's quite a few energies around here so i'm picking up a person that had libra leo capricorn pisces sagittarius aries because someone here with the king of cups here they um they plan to give you something but then there is another person that there is a smaller offer. So, okay, I'm going to have to clarify here because let's not forget about this person. Now, there is someone here that is very slow. It could be dealing with a Capricorn, but at the same time, this person being so slow and when they have you know, reached you, they haven't really given much communication. This is someone that is sort of like you notice when this person is getting closer and if you see here, the emperor is in reverse. They could also be on a distance. So this is a divine counterpart. They had plenty of opportunities to speak their mind. They had plenty of opportunities to say what they wanted to say, but they didn't. They didn't held back by their ego. But there is someone here. And if this person miraculously turned into this king of cups, that's great. But somehow I feel it is someone else around you. But um, let's see. Let's see. Um, so they're trying to. I 
I mean, it is possible that this person has another, like there's a third party, there's a home. So they're trying to keep the home going here. But let's see what is happening. They have the seven of wands in their current surroundings. What are, what, what are they trying to do? So I do pick up here. Yeah, there's an energy here of someone that is like a player energy. They they are they they look for the good life. They they want you know to have a drink, to have it easy. They could re be repeating something that is kind of wearing oh, is a bit old. Like they repeated something that maybe they should go grow tired of it, but they don't. There's an immature energy here, but. See, what they want is the Empress. What they want is to be with someone like you, but they are wasting their energy on wrong people or just what they do is quite sort of tedious. They aren't really growing up. They, aren't, they, aren't, they haven't got the ability to, to come towards you, the Empress, because they're in a page energy. Um, so... This is uh, most likely a fire sign, so uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They could be moving into a single energy. I mean, we have, I feel the, um, there is some someone they have to give into. They might have children and there's two babies here in the basket um so there is something in the environment that makes them happy but you know they are seeking this con connection with you is what also make them happy but they are also in stuck here how to you know they want both so they know they have to let you go and unless they come forward and they they do what they you know they plan to but i see someone here is um scared or the you know the six of pentacles isn't really great when it comes to love right it's not someone that is going to pour out their love it could be foolish as well this is someone that they're so used to being see they they could mean well right see they this person here is someone that they can create a nice, let's say a date. Um, if you date them for a weekend, you can have the best weekend. They can make, they can repeat something that have fun and love and all these ingredients. They can, they can do that. And that's why they're, you know, they have done that with you. Probably that's why you are also stuck on this person. There is a strong bond here. But then now that is a distant memory, that is not really something you can, you can't, there, there's not enough to um, grow. It's not enough to, for this union. So see here, this person is, their intentions is to come towards you. Their intention is to fight for you here. But I see also here, you know, their actions, right? They want to fight for a divine union. They want to fight for you but what are they going to do to fight for you right so i'm also seeing here that um there could be a child here that they don't know how to you know that it's like because they have an immature approach they don't know how to to resolve they also think this person is sort of, or they think, oh, well, if I can't reach Pisces, well, let's just give up on that. So I'm just going to sit here. And um, I mean, there's other people around them. There could be a father figure. There could be a friend. There could be someone advising them also about going for their happiness. So, but in their surroundings, their expectations is that, you know, they know they haven't really given into this union in, you know, in their surroundings. They, they spend too much time sort of, oh, they could sort of, wine and dine a lot and that's great right but they are very attracted to you they want to come towards you they want to take action they want to spend time with you but they what's the negative here they're not really they're stuck in their head how to 
keep this union. They don't have a plan here. Um, Pisces, they don't really have a plan. How? It's because this person here, they, they tend to run. They tend to run to their safety net and this connection with you, it is too much. Um, it's more than they can, can chew. I was going to say they're bitten off more than they can chew with you. Um, so it's like the standard they have to live up to to be with you. They want that and that's why they don't want to let you go. They know you have a, a strong tie to each other. There is something about this wanting to be together, but they are still stuck here. They are obsessed and stuck. And then you, Pisces, are... Um, yeah, I, see, I see that you are getting into your power. You are trying to make yourself feel good, look good here. Um, I, I see that you are pulling away from this person. You are visualizing what love should look like. I see also you are trying to avoid anyone that is bickering, just trying to... I see that you are trying to really on day-to-day, -day, you could struggle a bit with just day-to-day -day tasks. Maybe you find that, oh, everything is so heavy. Things aren't really bearing fruit. I feel like I'm giving my energy away. What is it all worth? So you could feel a bit sort of heavy at the same time as other people see you as someone that is very happy, you are glowing. But I see that you yourself feel like I really need to release myself from some, there's something that I have to release myself from to be happy to start over, but I don't know how to release myself. So you could also feel stuck. I mean, the Eight of Cups is stuck in a different way, right? Yeah, the, the, the Eight of Swords here is kind of, okay, not doing any, taking any action. Eight of Cups is also sort of being stuck, not ready to, to walk away from the past, but knowing if you walk back there, there isn't really much to get than a message or two or the, you know, yeah, you can reminisce and there is a, a passionate connection here, right? But uh, you want more than that or you want, is that you, you want to have have a real feelings uh, worth pursuing here. And I see that, you know, the three of swords, someone here wants to, uh, to get this off the ground. This person could be on a distance, right? And they, they, they feel if they come forward here and fight for you. But then what do they mean with fighting? Here, here it is like they want to fight for you, but they don't know how to fight. This is someone that it's one thing to say it, another thing is to do it. And you know that this, the wheel of fortune that has been spinning here and uh, you're waiting for your luck to change in love, in wealth, uh, health. I see that many of you could have had a bad turn of luck and just feeling a bit in limbo um, as well. So your feelings are like, okay, I'm just going to keep at it. I don't want to give up. I'm going to spend time on what I believe in. It might not feel, might not seem that I receive any fruits from my labor, but I will, I will continue here. And um, there could be someone that you don't see around you that is in a work setting or a, an environment where, you know, you cross paths with this person um here so so someone here there's kind of some gossip someone trying to know everything there could also be people around you always yeah you could feel a bit isolated because other people they want it's not just this person so so there could be other pe like people around you just it's like they want to take take your energy or be or, or like you feel, even if people are nosy, it's like they always want something from you. You have nothing to give. And that doesn't always have to be, it's not a negative thing. Like they want to take something financially, but you feel that there's something about you feeling like everything is a struggle, even like giving energy to people. Even if you are on social media, if people just ask you, do you want to meet up? You just don't want to. 
it's like you want people to leave you alone but at the same time you want to be there but you don't want to be there with them as well you just feel like kind of a bit in a limbo when it comes to your happiness i see here um what why is the hierophant and the devil the hierophant and the devil Mm -hmm. so here the hierophant and the devil there is there is an ending here of some sort that you are you are not really in the middle of the ending you are not really in the middle of the ending as you can see it but you can feel it and the feeling of it it's like it's burning inside of you and you just feel that you are okay in with your intuition you know something is going on you might know, for example, that, oh, if I, it's like, it's almost like, you know, okay, if I check the news, right, I'll see exactly what I predicted going off. If I check uh, someone's social media account, I'm going to see exactly what I thought was going to, I was going to see it, but I don't want to see it. And that energy could make you feel quite stuck because we have eight of cups again here as well. There is movement and transition and abandonment. You are leaving a leaving someone that you know you have to leave, but there is someone that don't want you to leave, and they could be trying here to. I see some something here with magic. They could be trying to. It's like they try to lure you in. <laughs> I don't know how. But there, I, I find I'm gonna find another deck. It's that. It's almost like they're giving you an ultimatum. Is that okay? If you don't surrender into what they have to offer you, or even if that's nothing, right? That's the say if it's just to give them attention, and if if that's just if that's just what it is, and you don't do it, it's something about everything has to be on their terms, and if you don't answer in a certain time, like they have this sort of punishment, they will say, well, then I will. Then I will just, you know, leave or I will just make sure that I'll throw some obstacles at you or, you know, it's like as if this person thinks that they can do something <laughs> that they think that, oh, they're going to punish you with that. Maybe that they, maybe they are like, oh, well, next time Pisces uh, are about, I'm going to show them that um, I, I'm seeing someone else, right? Or as if that's going to be a punishment for you. Right, see the world. The world here, there's a, there is a something that is pulling you apart, is coming to an end. And it is also possible here that, that someone is going through, uh, the, I mean, this could be an ending of, this could be an ending of, um, well, it could be a lot of things actually. They could be with someone that is a bit younger, I'm picking up. Someone they got stuck with. Someone that they have shared a home with and there is joy to a certain extent there. Now, what they want is to come forward to you. They have feelings for you and they, this could be the king of cups. And there is something going out around outside of you Pisces that has to do with an ending of a codependent marriage um, and that someone is blaming you for it. Why is that? Please give me the messages I need to see for Pisces. Um, for what is... So an ending of this mayhem that is going around or going on that that could be what is uh whoa, that's a nasty card that's suitable for halloween jesus <laughs> it's two eyes um and this is um like worms and let's <laughs> yeah, just realize that nine of swords 
So if you are feeling a certain way here, Pisces, I see here that, ah, oh, wow. I see that it is possible here, Pisces, that someone, let's have a turn around. This has have now this, this is coming together. <clears throat> I think that this person, your person here, it is possible that they, there's an ending, a divorce, they have to finalize, they have to finalize this. This is with a queen of wands. Someone could be again quite immature. There is a lawyer in here, there could be two kids in here. They know that they want to, their intention is to move forward with you, that they know, and they might have told someone. And that person is going like ballistic here because we have someone that is with a page of wands again, and we have the snake around here, the magician. Someone is think they could use like magic. Uh, they think that they have, see here is a queen of wands. This is someone that believe that through the, through, through their channel, they can punish, it's not punish their person, which is here, the father of cups, which is the king of cups. The king of cups is coming towards you, the king of cups. They want this wish fulfillment with you. But there is someone's trying to trap them here. So for whatever reason, they know they're leaving this home. And it is, it's, it's so if you feel, you're feeling a certain way, uh, feeling that you have this dark, uh, pessimistic energy around you. And I don't know how strong your uh, bond is to this person here, but either way, it's this ending here. It's very much of a, like someone is sort of, it's the end of the world, right? This is someone saying that they're, you know, they're, everything is like, they made their plans on their future and, there is this like disgrace, wrath over there. There could be some for that those feelings to appear, right? So, so it could be someone that is wanting to keep your person stuck. It's clearly a codependent relationship. This is the kind of relationship where it's yeah, extremely codependent. Could be addictions and so on. And someone is like, well, when when that comes out that they left them right and there's no going back and they've actually also told people and that they will bring back the empress right that's going to be trouble so some for someone that is the this is someone that's causing a huge drama uh because of that they know that uh, eventually they will reach out to the empress which is you pisces and then if they bring back the empress that is their wish fulfillment but someone is not tolerating that so yeah, but the end, but the outcome here says you know the temperance things will calm down. But right now we have the eclipse going on. It's that you know it's quite um, an intense energy, um, and um, it's the advice here is to to go inwards to to keep calm. If you are exposed to this person, you could probably feel like there's something going on here. And you might feel that your luck has turned for the worst and you are waiting for your luck to change. You might be also wondering, why am I experiencing bad luck? Um, because you, there is no reason why you should experience bad luck, let's say. But it has to do with uh, this union here. Um, okay, well, it has to do with some, we have, also, someone is coming towards you very slowly. Okay, what else is happening here for Pisces? Uh, what is the most likely outcome? What is the most likely outcome? Yeah, keep your strength, your cool. Be patient. Patience here. You Patience here is crucial. Um, this could feel... Yeah, there is someone here that is fighting for reunion, reunion, life improves, old friends and family, renewed enthusiasm and improved finances. It's coming. 
there's a building also a voiding relationship right and there is also moving into karma waters and cooperation so here there is the queen of wands here that is is competing for a person that is coming towards you that is uh, there's a hard time for someone that is coming towards you there was an ending here and since this ending it's saying that right see here the ten of swords during this ending here someone will deceived you they did a runner right the knight of swords it happened quickly and they were gone so then since then you have been in hermit from this person now they want to reach out to you but this is the person that is juggling i believe here they are here leaving someone but let's see here let's see here there is something something i can't quite come to grips with Someone here don't have the courage, like they have the love, but they don't have the courage to come forward to you. So they could stay, they stay in, an, in a relationship that is for the sake of whatever. Um, finances, which is quite common. Someone have a... Um, it is like if someone leaves, they're like, oh, you will put shame on the family for generations, right? It's something very heavy. Uh, it's something like, I don't know. I mean, from a personal perspective, what, what can be more heavy than death, right? But I don't really predict that here. I don't really see death. But it's something about, so, you know, but... But here it's it's as if the, as a breakup is like the end of the world. Yeah, pretty much is the end of the world. If someone breaks up, it's the end of the world. So this could be someone that is depressed. Uh, there is a lot of blackmailing and so on. It's something that is not quite right with the situation. It shouldn't be that way. Right, yeah. Someone's trying to fight for a union that's been together for a very long time. Um, there is some, I believe that this is a, a karmic union, right? And somehow you've, you are right in the middle of, of, of this, or th this is someone that is meant to be for you, but this is someone that is in the middle of a, a breakup pretty much. And they have to heal. There is, uh, yeah, qu it's quite hectic to say the least around this union. And I think because you have a connection with this person, you notice, you're noticing the energy. See, there's a lot of information uh, underneath here. Um, see here, so in the past, like you are the one that have experienced an ending with this person. You are the one that's taken that, you've been waiting, but you know, there has been an ending, you moved on. This person could have come back and there's been another ending, right? So you're the one that's taken, you know, all, a lot of shit from this person. And now when you are standing here saying that I am, move, I am pretty much moving away, someone wants to come back to you. They might now, see here as well. So behind the, the, the fence here, they could be saying that, well, I'm going to, um, you know, once this is settled, I'm going towards Pisces. But you might not want to take this person here by the looks of your cards. So there might be sort of uh, two people here causing all this. Uh, there's, there's a karmic outcome here. It's as if two people, they've been very self-centered. They made all this drama. You know, they hurt you. Then they hurt someone else. And then now you hurt them again. It's like that. But it's... I see that you are ready to move away from, from this energy full stop here, right? This person here is just holding on. They're, they're holding on to an environment that they are safe in, right? See a tower? They're, they're safe in this environment. This person don't know how to... They don't know how to survive without those four walls. 
I, I see here. Um, right, so, so uh, there is a divorce happening. This could also be someone that is, I'm also seeing here, right? I see that, so if you're dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Virgo, this person here could be fine single on their own. I'm seeing also someone here that could be, it's like a, in a they are married. There is some kind of, um, I see someone here that could be bisexual. So there is a third person here that is a male that they have also been with for the longest time. In this kind of environment, it's safe to be here and they look like they are the king of that show here and there's a queen of wands. But they don't really want to be, they don't really, really want to give here. There is a lot of bickering. They want to go towards the star. Deep down, they know they want to go there. But I see here they have to end a situation uh, to fight for this union with you. And it looks like they will. They, they could suddenly turn up or there is a... I, I do see someone wanting to fight for you. But uh, let's see here who's... Who, What's happening here at Pisces? We have the seven of, seven of, so it's not the seven of, there's the chariot. I'm sorry, it's late here. Um, in your environment here, you are staring clear, you're being strategic, you know, you're being a bit on the tactical, right? Using tactics here. You know you're using tactics and then you are knowing that you, you want to stay away from someone here as well. You don't want to see, you don't, you don't want to see something here, uh, Pisces. What is it that you don't want to see with the moon? Why is the moon here? What is it Pisces want to see that? Again the chariot? Taking action in love. Taking action in love. Someone will express love to you. That's clear. Someone is coming out of the cold. Someone is receiving their karma. We have a queen of wands here. Where is Pisces going? The chariot. What is Pisces doing here? The chariot. You have been in hibernation for a long time. There is a relationship here that is meant for you. This is someone that want to wear their heart on the sleeve here, a soulmate. This could also be another person. It could be in your work surroundings or just someone that you end up meeting that things are, it's actually you are presented a relationship that is very easy. That's, a, that's another factor here. So you could here as well choose between two people. I do see there is a relationship here meant for you. Which way do you go? This is what I'm seeing. Which way do you go? I mean, because this also has, it has to do with you making a decision of who to contact or stay away from. Because it's essential here. Someone wants to contact you. Other people's trying to reach you. Out of these other people, there is someone that you actually want to speak to. But because you're trying to avoid someone else, or you don't want to see what's going on here, you might sort of say, well, I'm not going to let anyone speak to me or I'm just going to, I don't want to look, I don't want to look, uh, I'm just going to stay still until I feel things are, are you know, th things are in place here. I'm, I'm going to feel myself here. And you are sort of, okay, I, I'm <clears throat> sorry, I, I know, I know I have to take a chance here. I can't always sit in this position and need to move forward, but you feel that it's not the right time. So you are sort of waiting, waiting. When, when can I move forward here? So the Empress, but it says here, you are being seen as the empress. You have someone here, they are searching for you. Um, there, there could potentially be two people. A karmic couple, I believe they are coming to an end. Or maybe it's also you leaving a karmic couple that has this drama and you got caught in the middle based on having an attachment to a person and you know that this drama will go on for a long time so therefore you are staying away from them but they don't want you to stay away from them they're very possessive obsessive and but meanwhile so even though you and this person here see four of swords 
see there is something about you you wanting to stay away from them but when you get back out there there, there is this it won't take long before someone is at your door. Okay. I also see here, this is kind of complicated because okay, there, there is a love here that is meant for you. And whilst you're in hermit mode, you are blocking that to happen or you're delaying it to happen. And I believe it's to do with maybe trying to avoid a drama that's going on with someone and perhaps let's say i don't know if there's someone you work with or if it's on social media so let's say if you're starting to post some pictures and this person they are like right back to you and you feel just their energy and then you're like oh if i block them it's i can't even block them because they pop up everywhere this could be someone that is just everywhere and you just know that you cannot get away from them in a way like they will just always find a way to <laughs> to be around your energy is something like that and but then there is someone that you want to speak and connect with but it's almost like this person here with that situation they can block it but only temporary i see here so it's, it's almost that there is a new beginning about to start for you right and i would just say that there is a bit new beginning and i feel that this person here that is coming towards you it's someone that is also very patient they're not really noticing this other person uh, i would i wouldn't say so this is someone they want to get together they want to celebrate here and i feel that you could be de I've de dealt with um I, I, there is someone here that has made you stall they haven't really got much to offer See, they like to be they like to be in the midst of drama but they like to make themselves more important than they are this is someone that could use things like black magic and their energy and somehow it can have an effect but not you know to so this person here the emperor they're trying here to to give the solution right this person here it's like you could always be a little bit high They could have like this sort of cheeky smile here. They look sort of, it could be someone de dealing with someone a bit shorter. Someone could be uh, enjoy going to festivals uh, a lot. Like they like to go to all these stands here, wine tasting, right? This, this is someone that ha always have a lot of people around and they're like a, a bit of a, a trickster here. But they know they are part of a, a, a special union with you they know that is there and they are fueled by this union and and then this they use it as well to like make dramas they love dramas there it makes them feel good you know and anyone that loves dramas and chaos right you know that's just doesn't really end well it does, it's not a productive energy but some people like to live this way so that's them and i see that there is someone here that is trying to approach you but they are sort of blocking there is someone who's trying to they know that someone else is coming towards you as well pisces but i i don't see that this is this the energies right now are quite intense as well you know um your luck is going to change. It, said, it says here as well, Pisces, keep, you might have to spend some long hours working and not feeling that you're getting any results, but it, things will ease up. There will be easier tasks and things will not feel so, so heavy. Uh, but it has to do with this energy that is around you. Um, Caused, caused by someone that wants you to be part of their life, someone that sees you as a star of their life, someone that wants a new face with you. So some of you could have a new face with them as well. I mean, this is someone that is, they are going to <laughs> pursue you heavily here, but I'm telling you, they have someone, they have someone around them that is, just not worth it's just not worth hanging around them because of yeah i think you also say you don't want to deal with it 
right? You are like, no, this is over. This is over, like this strategy and see here the hand of, you know, the seduction, attraction, flirting here. You are done with that. And I do see you cutting ties during December. Uh, so, because that's when the temperance is. I see that this, this type of energy is like trying to, because of course it is two ways as well. So if you have cut the cord and you know that this person have, have absolutely no effect on you, right? You wouldn't, of course, try to hide from them. So you might be also scared in a way or scared, no, not scared. I don't see, I don't see that there is a, um, like a, a, something scary, but I see that you just don't want to deal with your feelings about it. So there's something about being in that limbo, but it says here in that what you, what you think you might experience when you move on, you might think that you feel sad and that she's going to be isolated or there, there are some kind of feelings you, you are going to, to uh, face, but you feel like better by not looking at it at all. But at the same time, you know that you have to move on because you cannot hide away from them because it's just them. And just then you close yourself off to so many other things, right? That brings you joy, right? There is ha something happening very soon. I definitely see this romantic gets together. Um, and ha you also will be re releasing an ex you might so we haven't seen any cards come up for you with feelings um and i see someone could have more more feelings for you than you have for them or you might be maybe you're afraid that you don't have any feelings or it's something that's you are afraid that okay let's you are not deciding not to to be with this person but you are afraid that maybe you also want that so this could be someone that say come forward they send an invite or they invite you into their energy and you know that yeah you have fun with them and you can't really see the whole ruckus going on behind their scenes and you just see them and you feel excited but then you know that if you do invite yourself in and say yes to the invitation into that energy you know that you are kind of sucked into it and then you have to start over and then you might miss out on this person here that you think is a bit like yeah it's like you've experienced a high with someone and then you feel that i don't know if i can feel you, you're like i i know i shouldn't be feeling this way i, I shouldn't be wanting to be with them because there's more pain than actual love but then you can't help um wanting to be with them at the same time or saying yes to the invitation um i'm just picking that up and um, let me see what's gonna happen who is this king of cups Again, King of Cups. They could have Leo in their chart. Maybe they have Pisces, Cancer. Well, um, this person here is... I mean, they could also have Earth in their chart here. This could be any sign and they are... Anything else about this King of Cups? King of Cups. They know that you have very, very high standards uh, as well. They know that uh, at this stage, uh, you, are, you, have, uh, you are going to be very stubborn. And see here, there is something about them. They walked away from, they walked away here from someone. They left, you know, a, a very, very strong connection. They left, um, this divine connection with someone very young and they didn't really give them much here and they are coming towards you but there is something here about someone being in a relationship and pursuing you but there is a 
can't really get clearly who this person is, you know. Could be a Scorpio. I have Sagittarius. There is definitely someone here that is trying to start over with you. They have deep feelings. They, they are trying, but there is a block. So it's not going to be the same for everyone. This is someone that know they have to start from the bottom, <laughs> climb up the ladder, right? They, they, they have to come in as a complete different person here. There is, so, so if this is another person again from your past, because we have the Six of Cups, right? There's a few people around you, Pisces. And, but there is definitely one situation you're hiding from. This is here, someone that wants to take a leap of faith. They, they, know, they want to just try something small they want to reach out to you here see that with the page energy you know the three the the four pages it has to and here you have they, they're looking for you right so they have to send the other pages to start over but can they handle here the empress that's the thing see see they they have and there could here be a that's their tower moment that you you give them that heartache that you are not yeah, that you are ignoring them you're saying that you are single you it is very possible that you are going to reject this person you might break a few hearts <laughs> pisces here i just see there is a it's it's is all these energies around you and you don't even know it. Like you are just trying to avoid being confronted. You're trying to be, avoid being confronted with your feelings about something that happened in the past that you don't want to be confronted. You don't also want to be confronted. Um, it's like you don't want to be reminded of a heartache. You don't, you don't want to also realize that you have feelings for someone that hurt you. Uh, so at the moment, I see that you are in a place that is safe for you, that is where you do not have to feel anything, but you know you cannot stay there forever, right? You know you can't stay there forever because you're a Pisces, you can't just stay and hide forever. Then, then you don't have any experience, then you don't know, then you can't have closure, you're just in limbo. So this person is waiting for the, an answer for your message here. Yeah, this is someone from your past, right? They're waiting on a distance. They could be telling you I'm single now. There's some kind of good news as well. But you are leaving this person out in the cold. And maybe you left them out in the cold so long that, you know, they, they have given up. Maybe that's what you want them to give up here. But I don't think someone here is not going to give up. So you have a lot of options, right? And you have gone through a transformation. You you are ready to accept, you know, to to open up again here. I think that you're being very strategic. There is a lot of communication coming towards you. There is a twin flame union wanting to is I come back from the cold, right? Someone here want to to celebrate, but I, I there is more than one person. I have a, a earth sign, a water sign. And this person going very, very slowly. There is someone with, uh, I, I believe this person have a Capricorn in their chart. Um, there is definitely two people here. There is someone with Scorpio in their chart. This person could be fairly new. I feel there's a Scorpio in your work environment or in somewhere surrounding you that you don't even think about could be an option at all. But this person is an option. This person is, they're looking at you and they see love. They could see you work. Maybe they, you don't, maybe they speak to you and you don't even even think of this person as an option at all because there is someone else that you think of here this person that is a player i see this person could be an aries that's the person that you're trying to avoid so so much that you don't realize that you have actually moved away from someone <laughs> it's weird you could have been in this hermit away from someone for a very long time there is an ending there is like an upheaval and you'll find out what went down here what went down a fire sign there's a there is a divorce between a fire sign and another fire sign 
Uh, this could be between an Aries and a Sagittarius. There could be uh, two air signs that this, this could be like a couple group as well, right? So so they are like, no, no, you you should be together here, right? They're sort of there's like a lot of people in in the in the mix here. There are, there is um and and there everyone is watching so there's someone saying that oh you know if you break up with me and like keep an eye on them like i don't want them to go over to pisces and that would be humiliating me and and stuff like that so it's a yeah there's a whole like group involved here um yeah <laughs> you are a uh sort of the um people want to be generous to you with like they want to give you attention see here again someone is being strategic they they want to give you this attention they are waiting but this person is someone that is scattering this in this this they don't have much to to offer here i think that you want to avoid also you want to avoid this person giving you anything at all Scorpio is looking at you. They feel deeply for you, uh, Pisces. I don't know if you have any feelings for this person even. If you had a relationship with them before or someone wants to turn something around here. There is a twin flame union here, I feel. That's a twin flame union. And it's almost like a twin flame union that you know is a twin flame, but you just know that you cannot be with them. There, There's a, this connection and you just are too different right you could decide to to get away to to relax here there is a person i feel around you that is a capricorn they're going through a breakup here there's a few op op options around you pisces I, and i don't really see that you're moving into a relationship anytime soon i see that you are there's something that you want to close here there is something you want to close off, right? There's something about travel. Travel here, yes, the chariot. You're realizing that you want to be single as well. You might explore these options as well, Pisces, and you are sort of, you're realizing that none of them can really make you happy as well. I think that for you, there's a lot to do about I see there's a lot to do about movement, strength, movement, and that you really want to be sure. There's something about you wanting to be certain, like you want to know everything about someone before you open up to them. You realize that there is a person here that you didn't know anything about. You fell right into a trap here of a third party situation, which just it was not what you planned right see again here pisces you are you are the star you have good karma coming towards you and and i do see as well that i just see that you have great things coming for you here and i see that you are dodging a bullet uh i feel that you're dodging a bullet here there's something about someone wanting to so we have the the tower, the three of swords, the ace of swords. See here, yeah. See this person here, they have been so close so many times to get it together, right? To get it together, come towards you. But they don't have the courage. They don't have what it takes. They haven't leveled up, right? So they stay in this kind of drama, see here? And I think that, that this person here, they're losing. They're losing and they have lost. And they're trying to come back around, but they are on this and trying to look for you. And while you are moving ahead, Pisces, I see that you are moving ahead in this person here. I believe that you, you are the one that is leaving this person behind. That's my intuition telling me that you will push through some kind of temptation from them. Because you, you just know that what that this person can never ever live up to your 
expectations, but they will try to give you that illusion. This person is also could be the last person that you've had a very seductive connection with. It's a lot of flirtation. You have a special connection with them. And when you are getting together with someone else, it could be different, but it says here that get used to what is different because there is something about a karmic connection that isn't really, you know, it's not even a feeling. It's just a bit of a, this person here, the person that you're dealing with, they have the ability to, to kind of like make something seem exciting or what they do is because they live in this fight and flight and drama right so they they can tend to trigger that in people and they they know what they're doing and they thrive off that but i see here that is what you're cutting off and you are nearly there pisces you're nearly there so that feeling that you have attached to this person being exciting and seductive the next time you look at them you could just be feeling like nothing. And I think that's what you want to achieve here so that this person do not have a hold over you at all. I think that's what you are achieving. And that's when this person's drama becomes even much worse because now they don't have the, you know, they don't have the cord to you. They don't have this, their adrenaline is that, well, all this drama is happening over here. Then I can go back to Pisces or, you know, have this future with Pisces. Or I can tolerate hell because I can be in heaven soon but now they might just be stuck in hell because you are not going uh, towards this person ever again right that was a long reading suddenly so uh, I hope you enjoyed it you can like subscribe leave a comment thank you Pisces and uh, I'll see you very soon